This tutorial follows on from the previous one which showed how to import height maps uh, from Photoshop. What we're going to do now is texture the terrain. Uh, so let's select the brush tool. Now the texture can be applied using all different shapes of brush tool. We'll just use say this one here. Now in order to paint on the surface you need to have a texture selected. So we add a texture by finding one that's already loaded into Unity. Now the first texture as you can see there that you load in becomes the base texture for the entire surface of your terrain. Uh, so I guess select carefully as you go along. You can change that of course. Let's add another texture. Let's add some grass. And let's paint that onto the surface. You can't see that at the moment. There we go. So you can see it's being painted on. Now we're quite a distance from this actual surface, so if we just zoom in a little bit find somewhere a little closer to the camera you can see what's happening and it's a round brush so it's going to be round when you see it on the surface so if you want something that doesn't look so perfect say if we pick this one here and then you get sort of blotches of that and then you can blend it in so let's find another texture let's say um, I don't know let's just pick this fire one select it and put that on. Now you can see what's happening here is that you're getting a tiling effect happening. Uh, tiling actually happens anyway but because of the nature of this image it can't help but be obvious that it's tile because it just sticks the image next to each other. So if we edit this texture and change the tile size to say thousand you can see it changing down here so it makes the image a lot bigger spreads it out and kind of gets rid of that tiling and the bigger you go the more the single image will uh, cover itself so that doesn't look too bad there and uh, if we color in a bit more we'll be able to see where the edge of that tile ends and the other one begins which is over here as you can see this yellow bit repeating again. Now in order to make a tile of a texture look good you need to use a seamless texture. That means that the texture will match itself on all sides so if you put it together in a row it's very hard to tell where uh, each single tile is. If we just have a quick look on the web and let's search for seamless texture on Google you'll be able to see some examples and they're better if you go into the images. Now this is a great resource for finding textures that fit together. So here it's a nice one. Let's download this one to the desktop and then we can bring that in as an asset and we should be able to use it as a brush on our surface so here it is loaded go back to our terrain add a texture there it is there and then we select that let's go back to this uh, round tool now from this distance you can't see that stone effect because we are actually quite high so uh, just edit that and change the tile size and now as you paint you can see that you've got a nice seamless texture because it fits together very nicely now some seamless textures 
actually begin to look t like tiles the further you get away. So if we just zoom away, I'll just see if this texture looks as though it's tiling. No, it doesn't. So it's pretty good, this one, actually. You can't see each individual square. You will see that as you play games, too, is that if you're up high on some elevated mountain and you look down at the textures on the surface of their terrains, uh, you can see where their textures are joining each other. Uh, but this one is actually very nice. And uh, that's basically how you uh, texture the terrain.